you guys doing? It's Henry. And Mo's and Blow! Today, what you're watching right now is my GoPro 7 Black. Brand new. I have it on 2.6K at 60 frames per second because all the re uh, reviews and the YouTube videos that they say if you film at 4K at 60 frames per second or higher, each second that you're recording <laughs> is like a gigabyte of space. And nobody needs it that clear unless you're doing cinematography stuff. So uh, the recommended setting is 2.6K at 60 frames per second. And I'm just going to give it a try and uh, see in the video about how clear and what the hoopla is about GoPros. Now I'm worried about the sound because these things are notorious for, you know, if you're standing far away from it and not selfie, right? Sound is going to be very challenging. That's why some people have lavaliers like I do and also the external microphones. Right now, I'm testing it for the very first time and all I have is the GoPro on a tripod and it's just rolling, you know? So I don't know how my sound is going to be uh, with my experience with the GoPro clones. I'm now about 10 feet away from the camera. Do I have to scream or can you hear me pretty good? Anyway, so today, I'm gonna have to clean up my yard. I uh, just walked my dog around the neighborhood and uh, there's branches and carnage all over the neighborhood. Everybody's out there sweeping the yard, getting the leaves and branches off of their uh, lawn and uh, a lot of chainsaws going on. A lot of damage too. Chimneys down. Huge branches from backyard trees have knocked down fences, and uh, it's terrible. Now, as for my fence in the backyard, um, the neighbor in the backyard, she's got like dementia, so she doesn't remember anything. So yesterday, she said that, oh, she's sorry about the fence, I'll take care of it. Her grandson came, took the three sections, and put them over on her side. So she said she's gonna pay for a new fence. You watch. Are you gonna fix the fence? I'm like, but you said you were gonna. She's, I never said that. Watch. So here's my Agway. I found out that this is an Agway by MTD. It said Agway underneath that paint that was on the hood. Uh, as you guys know from yesterday's episode, Larry and I went to go pick it up in uh, Wading River in Shoreham, Long Island, about 45 minutes away from here on the North Shore. And uh, I took the uh, cover off to reveal one of the best packed mice nests I've ever seen. Uh, the Magneto is rusted to heck and the, the mice have uh, chewed up that ignition coil wire to the spark plug. The, uh, Connecting rod is not blown. It does turn freely, but I think that starter is in bad shape, very weak. So I might change the starter. I'm gonna change the carburetor because it's the choke lever is seized. So the choke flap is in the open position and there's a lot of crap in there. I have a lot of carburetors. I'm just gonna replace the carburetor and uh, see if the fuel lines are clear and I could run some gas in there and see if we maybe can Start this up today after I replace the uh, magneto, the carburetor, and the starter. Uh, I might drain the oil and uh, fill it up with some fresh oil and see if this puppy will start. If this engine starts, it was all worth it to me because picking up a free engine is picking up a free engine. I'm always going to need another engine. In the meantime, I do have that color courage that still needs attention. I know, I know the feeling you guys have about uh, me putting together an engine, right, and then not starting it to try. The reason why I'm not doing that is because I don't have high confidence about the compression release thing that I didn't put in there because I don't think it came with one because when I removed it, that type of twin cam system didn't have a compression release, nor did I try to put the compression release. It wouldn't fit. You know, the hole was too big, you know. So I don't think that model came with one because the, the lobes are different from the other one that I built, you know? Uh, you guys know anything more about the Kohler Courages and whether or not they had two different versions of the twin cams, you let me know, with and without the ACR. Um, 
but that one needs uh, a better carburetor because the, the choke flap is also stuck, you know what I mean? It, it's hinky, you know? The throttle linkages are not correct. I'm missing this clip that attaches the throttle linkage to the governor lever, so I'm missing that. Um, the spacer in between the intake manifold and the carburetor is not is not well sealed, so it's not a fair test of that engine, you know. But if I get everything dialed in on that engine, I could start it, and we'll we could find out whether or not it'll start or not. But right now, it just I know it's not going to work because of the sides, you know. Then I have the single overhead valve engine that I need to put a connecting rod and push rods in and put that engine together. And then finally, I have another flathead engine, which I'm going to, uh, my friend Brandon Kaiser from Kaiser Small Engine Repair sent me a couple of uh, valves, intake and exhaust valves for that flathead, which I'm going to try to do later on. But uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try the time lapse on this GoPro 7 and uh, try to clean up my yard a little bit with the branches. So I finally finished up my cleanup. It was uh, quite tiresome. Uh, I thought I would go and get my chainsaw out to cut that big branch, but honestly, I could just break it in half by myself and throw it inside the garbage can and be fine. Uh, I was thinking about getting out my vac chipper shredder too and suck up everything, but uh, I just picked them up. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm gonna start working on this at least. Uh, I just spent a couple hours doing that cleanup. So. But uh, I'm going to see if this uh, magneto works because I'm having trouble finding a replacement. At least one with a long enough wire. All the ones I have stop around here so it won't reach the spark plug. So uh, 
Spark plug is out. I just put it over here. I got my jumper pack on here. Let's see if there's any spark over there. There is no spark. Not at all. So I have to change the magneto for sure. I'm going to have to just keep looking, see if I can find a magneto. So I got this magneto. I was uh, lucky enough that this was, thing was so rusted out that I was lucky enough that I was able to take these bolts out without stripping them, you know? And uh, they went in just fine too. I gapped it with a standard business card, about 10 one thousandths of uh, an inch. Uh, I have a feeling that that other trashed one might have worked anyway because I had this uh, magneto kill wire still on there. So that might have been killing the engine because of the throttle leakage and all. It's all seized, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm trying this one. I got this uh, magneto from that uh, box of parts that I just got from Steven Becker. Thank you very much. Um, it's still kind of short, but I think it might reach if the spark plug sticks out, you know? So let's uh, crank this right now and see if we get spark right there. And it has spark. So that's good. I'll put this spark plug in and see if it uh, fits or at least reaches the area to touch the spark plug. So I just put a cord in of uh, Lucas Oil SAE 30 Plus. This thing had almost no oil in it. Dipstick was just a light dot, so I just added one full quart, you know? So we'll see how that goes. Let's see if this thing cranks now with the spark plug in there, with the oil in there, because it lubricates it a little better, so it might spin better without changing the starter yet. Well, all right. So it spins now with the, uh, spins freely even with the, um, uh, spark plug in there now. So you know what? Let's blow a little bit of uh, go-go juice into the carburetor and just see what happens. Uh, there's no choke because it's um, seized. So we have some starting fluid in there. Hopefully the vapors will reach that area and maybe turn over. Hey, hey, hey! Awesome! So you know what I'm gonna do now? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna loosen up those throttle linkages and uh, I'm gonna try this carburetor. I got this carburetor from uh, a box of stuff I had over there, and uh, it seems like it works. It's a uh, it's a copied Nikki. You blow, you can blow. Put it upside down to mimic fuel into the uh, float, closing the needle. And you cannot blow. This one had a fuel solenoid on it, right? Uh, it still does, but and this one does too. But being that the ignition, I don't know if it works and all that uh, stuff. Just for testing, I cut the valve over here so I wouldn't have to attach the fuel solenoid wire. So I'm just going to replace this and uh, I'm loosen this up and uh, maybe put gas in the gas tank and see what happens. Hey, so I've been busy. Um, you know, the battery is down to 15% already. So this new GoPro, I mean, I've only recorded, I don't know, less than an hour's worth, you know what I mean? And the battery's down to 15 already, you know? So anyway, uh, I switched out the Nikki carb, got it in here. Because I have the choke uh, linkage out, I know I needed one for my single overhead cam, uh, single overhead valve pro engine project. So I made my own. So I just matched up this one and I made my own. I think I made the one that I made this year. Anyway, so I had to replace the co uh, choke um, uh, cable and the throttle cable was also all hinky. So right now all I have is a choke cable that controls the throttle. So I have to pull it and there you go. That's choked. That's down. So it works, you know. I uh, took the gas tank out, flipped it upside down, blew it out. I replaced uh, this fuel line here with the curve that goes in here. You need the 90 degree bend for the carburetor that sticks straight out, you know. Otherwise your hose is going to be, you know, really twisted, you know what I mean? So. To stick out from the hood, you know. So uh, 
It's got a new carburetor in here. Well, not new, but it's from my bag of parts. Better than the old one. Changed the fuel line. Clean this out. I'm going to put some gas in here. We have a new magneto on here now. And uh, it does have spark. We blew stuff in here. It does turn over and run. The starter seems to work so far, right? So um, I'm going to put some gas in here. Uh, I We know we're not using the key yet, right? But I did find a key and st stuck it in there and it seems to work. I mean, it seems to click, you know what I mean? So we don't know if... I didn't put a battery in here yet, so I have no idea. So anyway, right now we got gas going straight into the carburetor. I'm going to choke it. And now I'm going to turn the power pack and see if it starts up. Uh, remember, I don't have the magneto kill on there, so I would have to try to choke it to shut it off. Ooh. Keep going, baby. Keep going. Off choke. All right. How about that? Try it again. Off choke now. How about that, guys? How about it, man? Um, when you put, a, put the choke on a little bit, it ran nicely, which means that this carburetor needs to be cleaned or this fuel mixture screw has to be adjusted a little bit. But I, I didn't clean the carburetor. It's just a carburetor I found in my bin, so I'm pretty sure it's dirty, you know? So it surges, but it starts and runs. And uh, I am able to control it with the throttle. Uh, I'm going to button this up tomorrow, put everything back together again, maybe clean the carburetor, and um, kind of adjust the linkages here on how it's going to work, and maybe, maybe, just see if we can put a battery into this thing, and if the wiring harness actually works to control the way the engine runs, you know? And I'll also put the magneto wire back onto the magneto to see whether or not the... Uh, it can be shut off by the key, you know? And then who knows? Maybe if I get this dialed in tomorrow, I might try to see if it moves forward and backwards. And then who knows what'll happen, you know? Uh, maybe I'll keep the tractor and make it something. Who knows? Not just take the engine. But uh, going out yesterday to go pick this up during the hurricane uh, was a fun experience, you know? And uh, hanging out with uh, Bobby and Larry is also cool too. Uh, but to get the free engine that runs is not worth it, you know. Uh, an engine is, is definitely something that you need all the time, you know, especially doing what we do. But uh, thanks for joining me on today's video. Uh, let's hope that the um, finished product of this video comes out good. And all the hoopla about a GoPro 7 Hero Black is worth the money, you know. Let's see how clear it is. Uh, if it's not as clear as I think it should be, then maybe I'll try 4K at 60 frames per second tomorrow. But uh, let's see how the sound is too. I have no idea. I'll let you know how hard it was to put this video together now that I have to transfer files from a GoPro to my phone. Just see how much memory it takes and just see how this video goes. Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.